I've been waiting all day for you, for you. Can't wait to see you and taste your season like Goya. Baby, you royal. Baby, you spoiled. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Today I'm going to be doing, uh, I tried following Blank's makeup tutorial and I'm going to be doing Holly Boone's uh, makeup. Let's get started. Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, Hi everyone. Please subscribe, I will love you forever. Um, so I love her today accent. I thought I would film a daytime glamorous makeup look. Super dewy glowy skin, not much on the eyes and I added a gloss because I just thought the gloss with the glow just... Because the gloss is everything. everything. All the products will be linked in the description box below. Make sure you follow. If you want to find out how I got this makeup look, then please keep watching. Um, I'm precisely my brow pencil by Benefit. And I'm going to use the Anastasia Bevue's Brow Gel. Okay. Let me all... pause her real quick. I don't have the Anastasia Brow Gel. So. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to have the same effect. I have this edge control. I saw like Aaliyah J a long time ago use that to set her brows. So I'm just going to use that and improvise. Through the brows. Brush through the brows. Just to make sure the hairs are laid down before I apply product. I have the benefit that she has. And this actually works pretty good for brows. I'm going to I'm using the Wet n Wild uh, retractable pencil in dark brown like this and then just comb it out and i'm just going to lightly apply product in the start of my brow if you're having trouble with um like your eyebrows growing and stuff then me definitely try vitamin e oil definitely try coconut oil um so after that i'm just going to go back with the brow gel and okay, just I need set to hurry the hair because i'm not there again yet. so we are going to start with the face oh now. gosh she's going so fast and there's no hope for my brows girl the only thing saving my that's gonna save these brows is to microblade them. Barely. All right, and then she brushed them out after she was done with the brow gel again. So I'm just gonna go back into the line. I actually like this, like this brow gel thing. Okay. Let's see what's next. I'm first of all going to apply an oil and I'm going to use my Pixie Rose Oil Blends. I don't I have that. This stuff, so I'm going to apply a little bit of this. I'm going to use skin. the like Amira London. Open it. Oh my god, I've done it. I'm so tired. The actual fuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to drop some on the back of my hand and I'm going to actually apply this to my face. To so the back of her hand. They smell just amazing. Oh, she uses so her good. beauty blender. Okay. Since I use that gold glitter on my eyes, I feel like everything's just covered in glitter, even though I've like washed everything. Because I spilt some. And I don't know why, but it just seems to be everywhere. I am going to apply some of the Fenty Beauty Primer on top. I don't have the Fenty I Beauty. Oh, but shit. the oil there as well just, just adds a bit more hydration. So, I'm going to use the Garnier since I don't have that. So, foundation. Oh my god, she's on foundation already. I'm going to use the MAC Studio Fix. Oh gosh, hold on, Ali. So, I don't have the Fenty Beauty, but I have the Dr. Brandt. And it is like illuminating too, which I think the Fenty is. It's getting good. It's getting good. So, foundation. I'm going to use the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. Mixed with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. I just love the finish of this. I just, yeah. I just love it. <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> Washed everything. Because I spilt some. And I don't know why, but it just seems to be everywhere. I am going to apply some of the Fenty. Oh! <laughs> OMG, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> what a disaster. <sighs> I was trying to be cute, you know, and get like a nice backdrop like her. Absolute fail, okay? So... What the hell do I do now? So, that was an epic, epic failure. 
and I tried to put it back up. I can't do it, so I just, whatever. I'm stupid, okay. <laughs> what an epic fail. We're gonna get it back rolling. What a disaster. This is real life, guys, real life. So I gotta go back, cause missed a lot of shit. So, foundation. All right, foundation. I'm going to use the MAC Studio Fix Fluid mixed with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. Okay, so I have I the Maybelline, the have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I don't have the MAC Studio Fix, but, um, I know a dupe for it, like a drugstore dupe, is the Revlon, which I do have, so we're gonna use that. We need to get something that I can mix. So mix it on her on, hand. I'm just gonna dot this. Same, same. I need to get something that I can mix. So then I'm gonna just push this in with my beauty blender. I've never actually mixed these two before. Have I? I don't know. I've been, I don't think I've applied. I don't apply foundation like this. So this is different for me. Yo, I put a lot of foundation on, oh my god. I don't think she put this much on. I apply my foundation, I go over it with a beauty blender so many times because I feel like if you just quickly do it with a beauty blender, it doesn't kind of, you need to like really work it into the skin. Word. So otherwise it just kind of sits on top of the skin and that's when it can just look a bit once you add powders and stuff, it can, can look a bit cakey. So true. So I like to make sure that I really press this foundation into the skin. But it makes so much difference. Yes, I mean, queen, after school I us. Foundation with this sponge, I, my arm literally aches because I do it for so long. This combo is actually really, really nice. Oh my god, Holly. You put me on. It's like the blend of the two does something. Wait, do you know what I just realized? We didn't carve the brows, like we're not doing that. Are we not doing that or did she do that off camera? Damn it. <laughs> oh shit. Let me try and fix these brows and if we're not gonna carve them. Wow, this is a really nice finish. Mixing those two. I really like it. I'm going to take my face shape brush from Zoeva, the 110, and I'm using the Benefit Brightening Concealer. I'm dipping my brush in this. Okay, so I don't have... I don't have a lot of these products, but I don't think that matters. I think it's just following her technique and using as similar of products that you have as you can. So the brush that she used kind of... I don't have that brush. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Pointed Foundation Brush. And I'm gonna go in with the, this is a Queen Lux Cosmetics uh, contour palette. And she goes in with the bright shade. So I think I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna use that shade right there. I have a tiny bit of this under my eye. That, and I'm gonna just blend it in with the Beauty Bender. Okay, so. Then I'm going to take my concealer, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. Oh god, how are you going so fast? Oh my god. Shit. <laughs> Alright, let me hurry up. Why are people calling me? No, I'm not answering. I'm going with the Beauty Blender. I've never done this before, like to use this first. I've never... I've never used used this for concealing under my eyes. Holly is teaching me a lot of things, bro. Get your pen and paper when you watching Holly Boone. What you mean? Like this looks so nice. This Queen Lux palette? Okay. So I'm gonna use this one in natural beige. Beige or beige? Okay, you stupid. <laughs> Baby, come over. Come over. Cover FX cream 
concealer okay. in the shade of light. I don't have the cover Tiny effects, bit. but I have the Maybelline. Well, uh, because this gives me a little bit of extra coverage. I have the Maybelline Master Conceal, and it's like full coverage, like the cover effects. Right there, not here or here. And I'm gonna bring it up, and I'm gonna bring it on my eyes as well. This is like pro stuff. She's definitely pop my bright under eye cherry. Oh, okay. so, this is just a fail, 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 fail. But I'm just using the Dream Matte Mousse. I already did it and I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. But I'm just gonna show you guys what I did. So she uses the Fenty brush. I don't have that brush, but I do have the um, crown brush and it looks pretty similar. It was clean two seconds ago, but now that I used it, so I'm just gonna go over and show you guys what I did. So she just put a line here. And then on her forehead, she blends it out with that brush. Okay, now I'm looking really shiny as fuck. I'm no, you look cream. snatched, I'm babe. Gonna you look snatched. I'm going to start setting everything. So I'm going to use my RCMA translucent palette. So I have the pink one, like her. Let's see. I hope it's not too light. Ooh. That is white. It is lightweight, like hers is, so. I know it sounds crazy, but this this powder is quite lightweight. Every time I do this, my face just lasts all day. I don't even have to touch it. Shit, well, I'm gonna see. So, Hopefully, this works for me too. Then I'm gonna move on to the forehead. Because you'd be looking snatched, honey. Yeah, I'm literally gonna powder everywhere. Okay, I don't have the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish I used to, and it's absolute life. Like, it's like probably the best powders to use to bronze and contour. And it's the um, Sonia Kashuk brush from Target. And she, that's a pretty big brush. Like, I don't know how she has control. But the big brush. Not Walnut, uh, Mary Kay. It's like a bronze or two. But this might be actually really close to the, to the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. This look is like so effortless. I love it. I used to use a big brush, you know, but then I stopped. But I think for like an everyday look, the placement of it is just wow. Holly, 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 Holly. You put your girl on. Guys, this is a look. My forehead is so, oh, I like this. I'm gonna go over again, like I'm gonna OD on this. I like this. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Honey, I look. <laughs> I'm serving bronzed, holly, j-lo, that's how you look snatched. Benefit California, which looks like this. Okay. Brush I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna use my Zoeva 106 powder brush. I'm gonna use this. This is the Becca. It looks very similar to the one that she used. This is in the color Winterberry. Wow. I'm shook. I like Press in. Okay, so now she does the Sorry, concealer now for the, the nose. skin is looking snatched. Yes, girl, you're looking more than you're looking snatched with five T's at the end of it. Okay. I'm just gonna try and take away some of the product. Oh shit, I just fucked it up. And I'm just gonna like press it. I have never done my makeup in this order before. I'm so fascinated. Is that pretty good, fam? She's in the back. Mineralized skin finish and the shade dark dude one that I used on my skin. So I'm just gonna go in with the one I used to bronze. I'm using my Sigma tapered blending brush. This is a Sonia Kashuk, is also if a tapered. If you do use bronzer on your eye, which I always tend to do, um, make sure you use the bronze, the same bronzer that you used on the face, and it just ties everything together. Next is I'm gonna apply a highlight to my lids. Okay. I'm gonna use this Milani Strobe Light Day Glow. I don't have that one. So this is Milani but... Strobe Light Day 
the dimension of it, like how the packaging looks, I'm gonna use my Amrezi one. Okay. And I'm gonna it's use really the elf brush. I'm just gonna apply this highlight to my eyelid. Go back to my blending brush. So I'm gonna use the elf gel liner. I think this is just a brown one. And I've had this and haven't really used it, so and I'm gonna use my I'm just gonna go ahead and line mine. And I'm using the, this is a Queen Luxe Cosmetic brush. It came like in a set. It's like the, the Rose Collection brush set. Oh, this brown is actually really pretty. I've never used brown to line. I initially bought this to try and do my brows with, which was a failure, which is why it's like still full. Holly, come through. I'm actually enjoying this tutorial, I thought. Like, I would absolutely fail, but I'm learning. My under eyes are bright. I have, like, no eyelashes. Same. So, I am going to apply some mascara first. I'm going to use the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. I'm using the tar Tartiste. You don't want to answer me. Baby, I've been calling. You don't want to answer me. I was hoping she would sing in this video, but she didn't sing in this one. But her voice is amazing, so beautiful. I love the tone of it. I'm gonna take some bronzer on this fluffy brush. And I'm gonna run this underneath the eye. And then Ooh, I'm gonna oh, I it's coming together. Oh, I'm feeling myself. Even after all the mishap. Came through. Oh shit! I have to. Um, she said she used the liner to line the bottom. So she used the uh, Cover FX. I have this one by my official Looking Glass. Their liners are amazing, and this one is in dark brown. So. Ooh. This is giving me like dick appointment vibes. <laughs> because you're not screaming like I did my makeup you're just screaming like I woke up like this like what's good what's good papi I'm digging this dark brown so I finally got these lashes on so for my highlight I'm using the same shade that I used on my lids All right, so, so I'm using highlight? the Milani strobe light and I'm gonna just kind of press it on so the brush that she's using I don't have that kind of the closest thing that I have to it is this. It's an Eco Tools brush. I want to be highlighted, but I don't want it too much today. So not too much. Just, she's just pressing it on. So Nothing on her nose. Oh my gosh, this is so different for me. I usually am like the highlight queen. Like I will highlight everything possible. So to just be... And she goes up. A little bit so to just be doing this wow very different i'm tempted to like just do it but i'm not going to how does she not highlight her nose anxiety on to the lips she uses the nixon brown so i have nix in in auburn so i'm gonna use that Just shade the whole lip in pretty much. Shade the whole lip. Then in. for my liquid lipstick, I'm using Dose of Color Supernatural. I don't have that, but I have a similar shade. I have the Feral Cosmetics, and this one is in Skin Tight. Baby, come over and put your head on my shoulder. I'm I don't know why I'm even looking here when I'm holding the mirror in my hand. Like, are you dumb? This is super pretty, even by itself. I love it. Okay, but she used gloss, so let's go, let's go, let's go. The colors, Desi and Katie collection. Don't have um, those of colors. Gloss. I love this gloss so much. But I have a very I similar like shade. It's, just... it's the sixth in rose. And, uh, and I mean, the packaging looks kind of the same. So this one is in skinny dip. So I'm just gonna, oh my God, I don't even want to go over it. It's so pretty. I don't want to go over this. 
hold on let me take a picture real quick so i can save this look without the gloss okay so i got some i got a few pictures in with this lip because i'm living thanks to holly i'm actually obsessed it's on my shoulder, I'm saying, baby. Smells so good it's pretty the gloss is pretty this look is popping <laughs> Holly Boone, you did that. I'm gonna set my face with the all-night setting spray. Okay. Hold it all night. Up. I've had that before. I don't have that right now, so I'm gonna use because this is supposed to be like a glowy type of look. Um, and I just I feel like I feel like this hard candy is like a dupe for the all-nighter. It's obviously not as good as it, but it's like supposed to be matte. So I'm gonna use the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray first. And you gotta shake this really good. If not, it'll leave like little specks on your skin. Honey, I'm snatched. I'm about to get my hoops because I'm feeling myself. Are you serious? Look at this. So now we can spray together, Holly. So guys, this is the finished look. If you guys enjoyed this, the struggle was real trying to film this, but it all came out amazing. Um, this is, I definitely incorporated like some new tips and things that I don't usually do. But overall, I'm very happy with the way it came out. Like, it's super bronze and just looks fresh. It looks fresh like you didn't try too hard, but you definitely know how to put yourself together. So, Holly, thanks for this amazing look. And, guys, subscribe if you like the video. Also, subscribe to Holly's channel if you haven't already. Like, what are you waiting for? And um, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.